three of our daily vlog. Today I'm going to show you also how to make this sweater. This is a Grand Matamoon sweater. It's an oversized sweater. As you can see, it's very big and I love it and it's so cozy and today I'm feeling good and I hope you do too. I hope you enjoy this journey with me and yeah. I'm happy to be here. So stay tuned and show you step by step how to make this one. I mean step by step by step by step. But I have to tell you, there's something about this footage because I make this sweater like last year 2017 before I went to India and now I film it again but just only the get swatch of this part but I'm going to show you how to put them together so the video is going to be a little bit different and for that I'm going to give you a free little pattern on my blog and then you can just also see that written pattern <sighs> maybe I'm just too old to jumping around but it's just like super excited for today I think when you have like a down day and then the next day you just come up like that and then it's just going crazy so let's come back to the point you get a free written pattern in my blog for all sizes because this is a present from my heart to you but this is not downloadable you can just read the written pattern on my blog and then watch the video if you don't understand but you have you're gonna have all the number how to make it and if you want to get a PDF file, you can just push it on my Ravelry or Etsy shop for a small, small exchange so that I can have some little money to get my computer. Today I'm going to buy a computer because I have been editing video with the phone and last night I have this pain on my arms and I think it's time for me to upgrade my device so that I can present you or create a better content for you so yeah that's what i wanted to tell you now i'm going to show you how to make this sweater and if you have any questions just leave them down below i would love to communicate with you and thank you so much for those who comment for my video last night you made me so happy and you bring back the smile on my face again all right let's get started this journey together of making this grandmother moon and then you can just jump with me when you wear it. <laughs> it's funny to watch the intro again. So here is the sweater. It's actually the off shoulder as you can see. But in the intro, I wear the white shirt under so it looks different. But when you just wear a bra or something different to show off your shoulder, it will look something like this. And this is just me today. I'm super excited for this video. In this project, I shoot this yarn wu ears to work with in the same yarn that I use for my uh, sweater that I'm wearing. And this yarn is weight 4. And I want to let you know that this is the oversized sweater. So I make it a little bit bigger than my size. You need the hook, 6mm hook, a pair of scissors and yarn needle. So I make the size of SM because I like it to be big. But if you want to like it fit better, then just make size XS if you are the XS size, if you're the same size with me. And I wanted to walk you through first. This is the different size. Below you can read this information. All of this will also be in my blog, but just that to show you what is going to happen. So take your time and look through this before I start to show you the get swatch of this pattern. Okay, after you read all that information, you will see that each size or different size have different color stem, theme. So we're going to do this part now in the video tutorial here. But to the side here, you see both side is come with the number, the different number of different size. So if you go back to see the information, you see that different size has different number. And now I'm going to just show you how to make the middle part, which is the design of this sweater. I hope I make myself clear and you understand what I mean. So this is the great way for you to also learn to read the pattern and have me walk you through step by step. For those who are a beginner, 
I would suggest you to make the gate swatch with me here so that you learn how to make this stitch. For those who are advanced, I'm sure you understand when you see the information before, you can just follow me and do this sweater together with me. So for the gate swatch, I'm changing 33 plus 4. So when you got 33 plus 4, you're going to add three double crochet in four chain from hook. So you count and there you add three double crochet there. Here, you will skip next two chain and add one double crochet into the next chain. Chain one, skip next one chain and add one double crochet into the next one. Again, chain one, skip one and add one double crochet into the next one. This is what you have so far. And now you're going to skip two, skip two chain and add three double crochet into the next one. And just right to that chain, to the, the next chain, you're going to add again three double crochet into the next chain. So this is what you got so far and now we actually going to repeat the beginning again. So you're going to skip next two chain and add one double crochet into the next chain one, skip next chain, one double crochet into the next one. Chain one, Skip next chain and one double crochet into the next one. And again, you see, this is what we have. And now you're going to skip next two chain and add three double crochet into the next one. And next to it, add again another three double crochet into the next chain. Now skip, skip next two chain and add one double crochet into the next chain one, skip next chain and one double crochet into the next one. Chain one, skip next chain and one double crochet into the next one. And now skip next two chain and add three double crochet into the next one. Now you see there is one last stitch over there. Do not forget that. Add one double crochet into that last stitch to complete this first row. And now you have done the first row. This is how it looks like for this guest swatch. And now we're going to continue the second row. For the second row, chain three, turn our work, and you're going to skip the first double crochet over there. The first stitch, you're going to skip that one. And you're going to add 
three double crochet into the next one just right there and you're going to skip the next two stitches you can see there one two and now the exciting part about to begin we're going to do the fancy stitch here we're going to add one back post double crochet and here how we do the back post double crochet you poke the hook from the back like so and then you poke to the other side through that and this then you make the double crochet this is called back post double crochet if you want to see very slow video i put up here on the card for you to go learn this back post double crochet if not just continue chain one and then you're going to skip the next chain and add double crochet just simple one double crochet on top of double crochet from previous row chain one and again now we're going to do again a back pose double crochet i love this stitch so much it's so beautiful this is how you do back pose double crochet and again you got that done now you're going to skip the next two chain to next two stitch and you're going to add three double crochet into the next one you can see that the design start to form itself this shell stitch so beautiful and next to it that one you're going to add again another three double crochet into that stitch like so and now you kind of like repeating it again meaning you're going to skip the next two stitch and you're going to again add the back post double crochet around the double crochet from previous row i'm going to show you one more time here back post double crochet and again chain one skip one chain and add one double crochet on top of the double crochet from previous row chain one and again back post double crochet like so and now you're going to skip the next two stitches and add three double crochet into the next and like that you see you're just going to repeat like before again and again skip next two add three double crochet into the next now i'm going to speed up a little bit here because you already know how to do it and now you come to the last the last shell so as always skip next two and add three double crochet into the next stitch now come is very important part not to forget there is one more stitch over there here you must not skip here because it's very important you're going to add one double crochet there like so and now you complete row two this is how it looks like so far and now we're going to continue row three and again if you don't understand just check out my blog and you see all the number line up so that would help you for row three chain three to build up the yarn and then you're going to skip the first one again and then the second one you're going to add three double crochet in there
and you're going to skip the next two stitches and now the another fun part is coming and in that stitch where you put before the back post double crochet you remember now in that stitch you're going to add front post double crochet and this is how we make front post double crochet like so and again you can practice this stitch with my video Sheng one i have another video step by step for back post and front post double crochet after you chain one you add one double crochet into the on top of the, the double crochet from previous row chain one and that post again you're going to add front post double crochet Mm, so on and so forth after you got front post double crochet then you going to skip the next two stitches and add three double crochet into the next one and right into it in the next stitch you just add again the three double crochet into the next stitch and now you're going to repeat this again just like before it's not that difficult right if you don't understand please go back and have a look again now you got that chair stitch done now you're going to skip the next two stitches and in that post you're going to add front post double crochet around it chain one skip the neck chain and add one double crochet on top of the double crochet from previous row chain one and again in that post you add front post double crochet there and now you're going to skip the next two stitches and add three double crochet into the next and then again add three double crochet into the next and again i'm going to speed up this part because you already know how to do if you don't know go back and see how we did it we come to the last one we skip next two and add three double crochet into the next one like the row before it's very very similar and then we will come to the last stitch over there the one that i told you not to forget here again there in the third chain there you will have to add one double crochet in there as well and as I say, the written pattern, you can see the number and the counting, then you will know how to count and everything. This is just the middle part. And this you can use to make scarf and many things that you wanted to. This is how it looks like. And now you're going to repeat these rows of two and three, the row number two and row number three, for as long as you need your sweater to be. I have made in total of 45 rows for the front part and you're going to make two pieces, identical pieces of the same rows, of the number of the same rows to be able to create the sweater because we're going to put both parts together. Yeah, I'm going to show you one more time. This is the sweater. So when you got the number right, the number chain and both part side then you have the the full row of this so you're gonna keep repeating back and forward for as many rows as you wish and again you can see all the info in my blog you can just copy how i did it if you want to make my size just make 45 rows two pieces two identical pieces and then you're going to connect it you're gonna put both part together i would say that yeah turn the inside out so the 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 part i showed you before there was the outside and now turn the inside you will face the outside and outside together and just imagine we have no arms no sleeve yet so you're just gonna face the outside and outside together and the inside will facing you and then you just going to sew up the top part you see gonna sew up the top part to create the neckline 
So you can use your yarn needle to sew it up, or you can do like me. I use um, slip stitch to sew up both part together, and I stop like three stitch before the shell stitch start, and that to create the off shoulder look. But if you don't like the off shoulder look, you can just keep sewing in more. And it's going to close more and then you repeat the same thing in the other side as well to form the side body to create the armhole what you can do is that you can also follow me by count from the shoulder down 15 rows down or you can just use the measurement tape here is about nine inches but you can count from the shoulder down about not about exactly 15 rows that's what i did 15 rows down and you add the stitch marker both side and I would suggest you to sew yeah either from up or down but just 15 rows that will create the same look the way I have my oversight pullover sweater so here you can also use the yarn needle or just slip stitch or use chain one connecting together however you like I love the slip stitch so that's what I do and after that you will turn your work into the right side and now we're going to create the sleeve to create the sleeve you can also try it on at this part to see how it look on you otherwise you can just get ready to create the sleeve and to create the sleeve you're gonna find one corner just right after the underarm there you're gonna slip knot chain three and you're gonna add one double crochet across around but make sure that you don't make so many double crochet i have made total of 60 double crochet and that is the good number for me so the first row is the row of double crochet after you got 60 double crochet you come up here in the shoulder part you see i show you from the above here close up find the shoulder part and in the middle of the shoulder part here this line now you in your piece you're going to only see the double crochet row and at the middle you count eight stitch and then in that stitch you're going to add a stitch marker there i forgot to say that you going to need the stitch marker also and again from the middle part yeah, in the left eight stitch and now cow into the right side another eight stitch and add the stitch marker this way is very easy to make this design on top of our shoulder and now when you got that stitch marker over there you just go back to where you have made your first row done of the double crochet here at the second row you just slip stitch there no more changing here just add one double crochet in each stitch across you will have total of 21 double crochet then you arrive to where you add the stitch marker there you add one double crochet into the next double crochet where the stitch marker chain one skip one and then one double crochet into the next chain one skip one again one double crochet into the next see and then you're going to skip two and then you add three double crochet into the next one and again three double crochet into the next one skip next two and you're gonna add one double crochet into the next skip one chain one one double crochet there skip one chain one and one double crochet there and then you're going to add one double crochet again in each stitch across until you arrive to the beginning row and again slip stitch there slip stitch it with the beginning of the second row and do not chain no more chain because we're going to make like a spiral movement so that we don't have this line under our arm and then you're going to add one double crochet in each stitch across until you arrive to the stitch marker again and now row three row three gonna be a little different so when you arrive where the stitch marker is you're gonna add one front post double crochet 
then chain one, skip one, add one double crochet on top of double crochet from previous row, chain one, skip one, add one front post double crochet, skip two, add three double crochet in the next, and then three double crochet in the next, and again repeat, chain one, skip one, front post double crochet, chain one, skip one, one double crochet into the next, chain one, skip one, front post double crochet into the next, and then one double crochet in each stitch across until you arrive to the beginning of the row, slip stitch, and keep re repeating it, Again and again. This is the repeating of row 3. If you don't remember how to do, you can go back when I show you the get swatch of row 3. It's exactly the same how to make row 3. Just that now we make the smaller um, design because we want to have only this design on top of our shoulder. I have made total of 29 rows and in the last row what I did I add um, I add one double crochet and then the next one I going down with one half double crochet and then the next stitch I add single crochet and then the last one I do slip stitch and this how like a little slope to finish my last row. This is how you create the sleeve people and now you're going to repeat again in the other side and that's it. This is how you create this sweater. I really hope you understand what I'm talking about. If not, just go ahead to my blog and have a look everything slowly, step by step. So I hope you like the video tutorial today and our vlog as well. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Just click that little box down below and also the bell so that you get the notification. Let me know in the comment if you're going to make it as well. And yeah, I'm so excited for what will come tomorrow for us all. I'm so happy that I have this moment to be able to edit and share this with you. All right, my beautiful friends, I see you tomorrow. Mwah. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.